So the last category that um, you know Keys really um, focuses on is what is called the lesbian category. I think you know the way to probably think about it more uh, in 2020 or whatever. You know, 20 years later is as queer. I think that's just a, a better a better category because it's just a little bit more expansive to you know all of the you know the LGBTQIA um, plus you know, identities that kind of fall within that. I mean, I think, you know, if we had like a longer class, a larger class, we could probably look more into like that, that in all other types of, of rap music, you know, um, from different places in the world, from different identities and stuff and stuff like that. But, you know, um, the archetype, you know, I like to use in place of lesbian here is, is queer. Um, but, you know, what does Keys talk about, you know, is basically that, like, queer black women have a way different struggle and a way different feeling of oppression um, from white patriarchy than, you know, uh, you know, straight um, black women or straight white women, you know, like when we talk about intersexual oppression here, we have, we have race, we have um, gender, and we have, you know, sexu sexuality, you know, and so there's often an urge to kind of combat that. Now, you have lots of, um, you know, uh, you know, queer um, artists now, um, so I asked you to check out Battle Cry by Angel Hayes, um, Azalea Banks, Licorice, um, I asked you to look at um, Leaf, um, you know, who's a gay a male rapper, and you've, if you actually checked out his song, um, it sounds a lot like uh, Macklemore's Thrift Shop, because Macklemore bit his shit. Um, so, I mean, you're starting to hear, like, more queer perspectives. I think it's a uh, young, young Ma or young M.A., um, you know. Uh, so, I mean, it, you're starting to hear more of this, and again, it's like, Rapping from a queer black female perspective, right? And so the actually the song I focus on is um, is and, and that Keys focuses on, you know, is is Girlfriend by um, Queen Pen. But you know, um, within this sort of you know lesbian category, as Keys defines it, or queer, you know, um, you have all sorts of different themes. So themes of of sexual exploit, you know, and sexual exploration. Um, Themes uh, boast, boasting and calling for and asking for uh, equality, you know, um, you know, uh, songs and lyrics about undermining patriarchy, challenging patriarchy, um, songs about love and songs about identity, what it means to be a queer black female, um, you know, or, or, or queer rapper, you know. Um, so again, some examples are Queen Pen, Angel Hayes, Young M.A., um, Azalea Banks, Amplified Dot, uh, Last Artful Dodger, who's a super dope um, rapper uh, from Portland, but, uh, or who lived in Portland for a while. I don't know if she's actually from there, but now, now down in L.A., uh, super dope, uh, highly recommend. Um, but the song that kind of like really was major, now it's so hard, um, now to look back, you know, and think this is a big deal, but it's for me, you know, uh, as a, a child of the 80s and 90s, you know, uh, queerness was never really addressed or talked about, you know, um, and it was worse than the decades that, that preceded that, you know, and it was kind of like this thing that, you know, we all, everybody knew about Ex you know, existed, obviously, because we had friends and people, but, you know, relatives who, who identified as queer in various ways, you know, but it was like, it was not like a mainstream media thing. Um, there were not mainstream media stories or characters, you know, there was no representation and the issues of like same sex marriage and, um, you know, trans issues and all these things were like, not they were not part of part of popular discourse, you know, they were not really talked about. Um, and so in 1997, Queen Pen ha comes out with a song with Michelle, um, I can never fucking pr pronounce her, her name, ne Neji Ocello. <laughs> Probably 
uh, killed that, who's also a les lesbian, put out the song Girlfriend, you know. Um, it's from our album, My Melody. Um, and basically, you know, uh, Queen Pen uh, has like a pretty fluid sexual identity, um, you know, bi, um, lesbian, uh, you know, etc. So she, her identity is relatively fluid. Um, and Michelle is a, is open lesbian, but basically, in the song, you know, she plays um, a suitor. She's she's you know um, she's trying to get a girlfriend, um, and she's stolen someone else's girlfriend. And I just think you know what makes it so important is this is the first song that expressed this you know um, you know uh, lesbian black you know, female identity in music. And it was like, it made some noise, you know, like I said, like, you know, you had up until this point, rap music, you know, um, how was, how was, uh, you know, uh, LGBTQIA, you know, brought up in homophobic slurs in, 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 in rap music by, you know, straight uh, dudes, you know, and it was it was never addressed as an as, as as wrong you know and that was part of like 90s fucked up culture and you know i mean so like we look at now where these issues are like talked about they're in the news now there's still a lot of work a lot of work to do but like people are talking about you know about this stuff it's just a major uh, it's a, it's it's so different than 20 30 years ago so if you can imagine, you know, 1997, this, this, this song was a major big deal. Like, y'all you, you gotta understand, it was a crazy, huge fucking deal when Ellen DeGeneres came, came out as a lesbian. Like, it was like a fucking, you know, it, it, was, it was a big, big deal, you know. Um, I don't know, it's just, things are so different now, thankfully, but... This song was the, a breakthrough queer song. Song it really just like you know, it, it paved the way for this to be like um, a message and a voice in rap music, and I just think it's important. So, you know, here's just some some lyrics you know that address like her being a suitor, right? Girlfriend, girlfriend, yes, I had your girlfriend. If that was your girlfriend, if that was your girlfriend, if that was your girlfriend, she wasn't last night. Girlfriend, girlfriend, yes, I had your girlfriend. I said if that was your girlfriend, if that was your girlfriend that was your girlfriend, she wasn't last night. So I mean, again, so that's just basically, you know, the chorus vibes here, but like, she's just talking about like stealing someone's girlfriend. It could be, you know, uh, a, a, a lesbian, it could be, um, you know, someone who's with a man, what, whatever it is, you know, and she's, she's stolen her. So it's really expressing, you know, um, her sexual, you know, um, desires and also challenging, you know, patriarchy um, and, and straight, you know, white male patriarchy in so many ways. So I think that's a, you know, one way, one way for us to analyze and to categorize artists. And I, you know, again, like I said, it, it, it's not, maybe not right, you know, um, because like, have we spent a lot of time doing that to like, you know, uh, male rappers, right? Like, n no, we haven't, you know, but I do think that, you know, uh, femcees are different in the sense of they can speak to this, um, to, from this perspective that you can never get from dudes. You'll never get from men, you know, and I think that's just a real, uh, real important thing to think about. And we'll get a little bit more into gender dynamics and identity politics when we talk about, about DJing. Um, and we'll get into some uh, racial politics as we, you know, in the last few weeks when we talk about, you know, uh, Eminem um, and, and stuff like that. So, again, Keys' model is just, it's just a model. It's a way to, to sort of think about things and structure, you know. That's all that theory is, you know, theory. All it is is, a, is it's, a, it's a model for connecting the dots. It may not be the only way to connect the dots to get to the place to get the pathway, you know, um, and it may be wrong or maybe lead to a dead end or whatever. And that's where it's up, up to y'all to put theories to the test and see how they're right and how they're wrong, you know, currently. And so, um, you know, but I do think it does give us a good way to actually like exemplify um, and think about, you know, 
how female rappers are different, you know, because they're females and they address, you know, you know, all these things that you know male rappers don't don't address. You don't have a lot of um, feminist rap songs by by you know male MCs. They just don't really exist. A lot of them are love songs or about their moms and stuff like that. But you know, um, you know, still a lot of work to do. But you know. The, it's all it's all changing with the uh, kind of record labels falling by the wayside, and you know record labels having less commercial control over the messages. But um, anyways, just a way to think about things. Um, hope y'all are good. We'll check you on the flip. The real Dr. Dre in my soon to be fucking record room in DJ studio. I can't wait to actually show y'all what it, what it looks like when I get it done in like six fucking years. But um, anyways, take care of yourselves. I'll check you on the flip. Claim that was your girl, but that's not how we sing. Uh, and never cease.